So today is a beautiful day here in Vancouver. Uh, it's spring already and uh, I thought, hey, why not just make a video in the park? And uh, I'm holding this ridiculous selfie stick and making a video with it and uh, people will find me funny, but it's okay. I don't mind. Anyways, so today I wanted to talk about uh, Pimsleur and uh, my experience with it because I think that may be useful for whoever wants to try it and uh, I'm gonna disclaim it right away that I have no association with them. Nobody, of course, paid me to do this. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know anyone associated with uh, the, comp the company. I think it's uh, Simon and Schul Schulster uh, Incorporated or something. It's a publishing company that does Bimsler. Uh, anyway, so I've used Bimsler a lot, actually, for a few languages. I started learning Mandarin with Bimsler. I started learning Russian with Bimsler, and for both of them, I actually did uh, 45 hours of Pimsler in total over the course of a few months or whatever. Um, and uh, I must say that uh, uh, I did enjoy it in many ways, and there were some things that, however, I didn't enjoy as much. So I see really advantages, and there's advantages like, you know, anyone will find in any sort of language program. I'll start with uh, the advantages. First, um, right at the beginning, they, they teach you how to say things that are a bit useful. So, for example, like, uh, I understand a little bit of the language in that target language. Um, things like, you know, hello, how are you, and so on. So, right after the first couple of hours with uh, Pimsleur, and by the way, of course, it's an audio program, you're going to be able to have... A quick chat in the, in the language, a very very quick chat, but uh, uh, a chat nonetheless. And basically, I really I like the space repetition that they do. So you're prompted to actually, they they will ask you, oh, how do you say this or that, and it forces you to think and uh, and use that. And um, and basically, if you focus on uh, pronouncing things well, you should be able to develop decent pronunciation. So th those are things that I like about it. And, and also, of course, after, after the first uh, 15 hours, which is like normally one module, uh, more popular languages will have uh, three or even four modules. So that's uh, 15 hours per module. So three modules is 45 hours. And that's what I did for both Russian and Mandarin. However, many other languages only have one module. So that's just 15 hours. and um, if you only do, if you only have those 15 hours, by the end of them, you will be able to have, uh, you know, a basic, quick basic chat. You're going to be able to express uh, some things, like uh, also uh, some numbers and uh, uh, directions and so on. And uh, what else? Now, disadvantages. Uh, one thing that I find is that, I mean... I think that a lot of people are going to find it a bit boring. Uh, I, you know, I was excited to do it, so I didn't find it that boring. Um, and uh, another thing is that it, as you go into the program and, and as you're doing it, they start presenting uh, things that I personally don't find that useful. So, for instance, directions. I, I, re I really don't care about saying directions in, in my tar target language. Not at the beginning, anyway. And um, um, what else? They also talk a lot about family and so on. So if you don't necessarily need to talk about your family in your target language, um, you are going to be taught that in Pimsleur. And another disadvantage is that you can't really skip the sessions or the lessons. So let's say that you're finding a specific topic boring you can't really skip it because then you're going to be missing out on uh, a lot of information and uh, so you have to do it sort of like linearly which is a uh, uh, I, I see it as kind of as a uh, of a disadvantage just in the sense that uh, if you don't like the material then you're kind of stuck with it and uh, but all in all I I think that Pimsleur is a decent way to just start with a language of course you're not going to be fluent uh, after the, the 45 hours, but um, if you do all three modules. 
right? Like I did with Russian and Chinese. By the end, I was, I was able to have some decent basic conversations uh, bordering on low intermediate. But if you use that knowledge that you build with Bimsler to build vocabulary and, and go on with the language, then I think it can be a good thing. So there we go.